everyone. So today we're going to be ranking every single iPhone that has ever come out, starting with the original iPhone. So I have a list next to me and we're gonna go down and talk about all of the iPhones that have come out and which are my favorites and what I think about all of them. Honestly, when you look back at all of the old iPhones, it is so innovative. Like Apple is iconic. Like no one ranks old Samsungs. That's all I have to say. Also, I have a lovely cold brew that I made at home. I can't wait for the pumpkin cold brew to come out later this month. We are just thriving. We are entering fall and things are aligning, okay? Let's get into it. So the first iPhone is the original iPhone. This came out in 2007 and this phone was like, I don't know, like groundbreaking. Like nobody has seen a phone like this. It was touchscreen. It was so simplistic and they were kind of hard to get because they were only on AT&T for a while and they were also, I think, expensive at the time. Time, so everyone was like, wow, the iPhone is so revolutionary. Like it was so iconic even back then. Not everyone had one. It was very like, whoa, you have an iPhone? Like that's crazy. Like how did you get an iPhone? I'm gonna like rate all of them like one through 10 because I feel like that's necessary. So this one's a 10. It is literally the blueprint, like so beautiful. If you go back and watch the keynote from when Steve Jobs announced the iPhone, it is so iconic. Like all the things that they talk about, they think are like so revolutionary, which they were at the time but he's like wow you can send a message you can take photos like all on your phone and everyone's like what it was crazy then they came out with the iphone 3g obviously this one introduced 3g network this one was very similar it came out the next year and the only real like big difference was the back went from like this stainless steel metal look to black and white the white 3g iphone was like my dream and i actually have one wait let me go get it oh my god so iconic wait guys Guys. I can't believe I forgot about this, but me and Gunner together have almost every iPhone model, I guess. This is the original iPhone, like how freaking sick. So this is what the back looks like. There's the front. So cute. And then I have the either 3G or 3GS. I'm not sure which one this is. The white back. So this is the difference between the two. But yes, I wanted this white phone like my whole life. I remember I just seen unboxing it and she was like going off about how she was going to keep this one or something. So I also have to give this a 10 out of 10. Both of them absolutely were the blueprint. I can't believe I have both to show you guys. Then we move on to the 3GS. This one wasn't that different. It's kind of like our usual S upgrade. So for the rating, I'm going to give it like an 8 out of 10. Still iconic and improved from the 3G. It really wasn't that much different. However, I feel like the 3GS was very popular and this is when people started getting more iPhones. Yeah, definitely true because I'm reading this website about all of the models and it says that the 3G sold 11.36 million and the 3GS sold 20.73 million. So that one was definitely more popular. A lot of people were starting to get iPhones and jump on the Apple iPhone bandwagon. Then the iPhone 4 came out and this was my first phone ever. Well, not first phone, but first iPhone ever. I remember I was in middle school and I really wanted an iPhone and I would literally, I remember I was sick one day and I was like home in my bed, like looking up iPhone 4 videos. And I was just so excited because I just had like a little pay as you go phone. So I have like fond memories with the iPhone 4. The only thing is that the iPhone 4 is so chunky. Like the iPhone 5, did what the 4 tried to do. So I feel like the 4 is not as nice as the 5, which we will get into the 5 in a second. It set like the vision for this like modern silhouette of the iPhone that we honestly have today. So I really like these square edges and I love how they kind of refined the phone and really did something different. So I'm gonna rate this like a 9 out of 10, the iPhone 4, because it was very innovative and very pretty. However, it's chunky. You know, it was chunky. The iPhone 5 is the refined version of the iPhone 4. By the way, there was a 4S, but no one cares about her. So the iPhone 5. <laughs> the iPhone 5 was iconic. It was such a beautiful phone. Like people still talk about the iPhone 5 to this day. I remember the gold iPhone 5 was really pretty. Like they did that phone well. I actually have a 5 here. This is the black one. 
so pretty like this is so pretty this is the lighter gray one the buttons on it were so cute i love these like circle volume buttons also the iphone 4 had glass on both sides who remembers when people would crack the glass on the back of their iphone 4 and then color it in with sharpies what was that like can we forget about that what was that so this was a lot better 10 out of 10 on the iphone 5s the iphone 5c was when they started doing like the lower not lower end but like more affordable iphone which were like the color models. I thought the iPhone 5C was so cute. I remember they had really pretty colors. So eight out of 10 on that. The 5S was just like another version of the 5. And it was iconic as well. So all of them are like a 10 out of 10. The iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. So this is when they very first introduced like the first plus model of iPhones. And I remember I was very early on this. Everyone was like, what is that? Like that is so ugly, it's so big. I fell in love with it. I thought the plus was so so cool and I remember I got it and like no one chose to like get the plus so all my friends would be like oh my god you got the plus and they try to like look at it and I don't know like it was just a thing if you were out people would be like oh you have the plus like it's huge and they'd like almost make fun of you like what your phone is so big I knew that the plus would catch on so you could say I was a trendsetter but no like for real I think the iPhone 6 was a great upgrade and I love that between all the models they kept changing things however I remember one day like sitting with my 6 plus and I was like I can't wait for a day when the iPhones look modern I know that's crazy but back then I knew that this silhouette of iPhone was just not it something about it was starting to look outdated and I think the fact they kept this for so long through like the 6 to the 8 is crazy because the 6 was the first to do the plus and the first to introduce this look I'll give it like a 9.5 out of 10 I think it was sick I really hated though like on every iPhone iPhone, how they did the white bezels on the front so ugly I remember I had one and I didn't like hate it but I feel like all of the phones with the black bezels just looked better the iPhone 6 was definitely a step in the right direction however it was kind of getting to the point like later on as we got the 7 and 8 that we were like why is the screen still like bezeled in like phones started doing the full screen and Apple wasn't so then we had the 6s and 6s plus same thing I remember the cameras were better a little bit in the battery but honestly not much after that 8 out of 10 then we got the iPhone 7 and 7 plus and the iPhone SE so the SE I never had it but again it was more of like an affordable iPhone which is really nice the 7 and 7 plus were very similar to the 6 like almost no difference at least from what I remember I'm just going off memory here so the iPhone 7 was when they did the jet black and that was so sick all of the other 7s were like I don't know 7 out of 10 but the jet black black one was a 10 out of 10 because it was beautiful. Then they came out with the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus and the iPhone 10. iPhone 10 was so iconic. Like I remember when I got it, it felt so new. Looking back, it definitely could have been better. The screens could have been better. I feel like they were kind of like dim and not fully like, it was like their first time doing the OLED displays. So they definitely could have been more refined. But the iPhone 10 was so cute. Everyone was so excited. Like, oh, we have a full screen and no home button. I love when Apple makes people flip out they're like where's the home button where's touch id like where's all that i love that i love when people get mad same with like the headphone jack and stuff i love the chaos like i love when everyone's like where's the headphone jack where's this yeah we don't need it let's innovate 10 out of 10 on the iphone 10. the iphone 8 and 8 plus i never had that either however i feel like they're very similar to the 6 and 7 and they were kind of like i don't know like the backups because the 10 at the time was so expensive and honestly like all the phones after that became very expensive. The 10 was almost like an elite thing. Like their iPhones were still like the 8. And then the 10 was like, oh, you want to be rich? Like go buy the 10, you know? So 8 and 8 plus, they seem reliable. They seem good. 8 out of 10. <laughs> I'm trying to like keep the theme with the 8s, but really like probably like an 8 out of 10. Like the best version between the 6 and the 8 would be the 8. Then they came out with the iPhone 10s. This phone was almost identical to the 10. I remember I feel like I thought the screen was better and the camera was better, but other than that, it wasn't much different. Oh, also I completely forgot. So the 10 didn't have a plus model. Like what? That's crazy. So everybody had like the smaller phone and that's it. When the 10s came out, they did the 10s Max. And everyone was saying like, I remember when I did my video on it, they were like, it sounds like tennis match. 
which I could see. So this one's actually technically a step above the 10 because they had the plus. However, I feel like the 10 was more iconic because it set the tone. So this one I would give like a nine out of 10 because it wasn't that different from the other model. And then they also came out with the 10R, which was like the colors. The 11 is the one that had the really cute colors, like the lavender and the white and the mint green and stuff like that. And they're so cute, I love. And then the 11 Pro and Pro Max, I think were actually a little bit bigger than the 10S. I love that because I love huge phones. So I really liked having a slightly bigger phone. So therefore I'd say between the 10, 10S and 11, my favorite was the 11. 11, I would give like a 9.5 out of 10. And then we got to the iPhone 12. The biggest difference with the 12 was that they did the square edges, which I love. However, with the case, it's actually more chunky than the rounded edges from the 11. But I feel like without a case, the 12 is so much prettier than the 11 and I really like it. The 12 Pro Max, I love. I think it's a 10 out of 10, like it's really good. I feel like when it's time to unbox the 13, I'm not gonna wanna let go of this phone because they can last at least two years and this phone is really nice. Let's talk a little bit about the 13. I wanna make a video talking about iPhone 13 rumors and like really going in depth on the iPhone 13 before it comes out, but I will talk about it a little bit here. So what I've seen so far is that this phone is not going to be much different. I've been hearing things that the cameras might be bigger. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like that's kind of hideous. They might do a smaller notch, but other other than that, I'm not really seeing many huge changes or upgrades with the iPhone 13. Like all of the things I've been seeing coming out is like honestly disappointing and I'm really scared because I want to be excited and I obviously love unboxing iPhones and I'm going to unbox the iPhone 13. But at the same time, like I think everybody's ready for Apple to do something new. I know people have been talking about like flip iPhones and stuff like that. And I think that they might do that one day. I think they're testing to see if like that trend sticks or not. I know they have like a patent on it, but I don't know if they're gonna actually do it. So overall, I feel like my favorite iPhones out of all of the iPhones are the classic first iPhone ever, the 3G, the 5, the 10, and then up until today, the 12. I also have really good memories with the 11. Like I really like the 11. Yeah, six, seven, eight, they can go. Four, it was like cute, but at the same time, looking back, not that nice. I really like all their colorful models too. I know I kind of focus more on like the main iPhone lines rather than like every specific model within that. But the colorful models were really cute. We'll see what the iPhone 13 has to bring. Let me know what your guys' favorite iPhones are. Thank you for watching. Dolce is here, so shout out to Dolce. And we'll see you guys very soon. Bye!